On Tuesday of this week, the House of Representatives passed a short-term spending bill that would prevent a government shutdown in the near future. That spending bill now has to go to the Senate and then it has to be reconciled between the two houses. Whether or not there is enough time left to avoid a government shutdown remains to be seen. I know obviously Republicans and Democrats alike do not want a government shutdown. But there is one person in DC who is all for shutting down the federal government and that person happens to be Donald Trump. Trump said Tuesday, uh, several times actually, that he would be in favor of a government shutdown. He wants to shut the damn thing down if he doesn't get the funding that he wants for his border wall. So Donald Trump is using the old tactic of if you're not gonna play by my rules, I'm gonna take my ball and go home except he's doing it with the entire federal government. There is no way that if the government shuts down this time, that they're even gonna be able to remotely pin it on Democrats. Now they'll try, they always try, but it's not gonna stick. This last government shutdown that happened, the majority of people in this country uh, viewed it as a failure or pin the blame, I should say, either on the Republican party or on Donald Trump. fewer uh, uh, percentage of people blamed it actually on Democrats. So the Democrats came into that, came out of that one pretty clean. This one should be 100% on Donald Trump. We may not be happy with the overall outcome of the Republicans and Democrats working together here, probably not gonna protect that 800 or 700,000 dreamers out there who are worried about being deported, probably not gonna address what we need it to with DACA, but it's gonna be something and it's gonna keep the government running. Maybe we can fix it later if we have enough politicians with a backbone to stand up for these people who deserve to stay in this country. But Donald Trump doesn't want them here. He doesn't want anyone here. He doesn't want anyone coming over here. And that's why he wants to shut the government down because he knows that he is not gonna get the funding necessary for his border wall, which let's go back a little bit, right? Let's go back to the 2016 presidential campaign. Donald Trump told us that Mexico was gonna pay for the wall. A year later in 2017, Donald Trump told us that Mexico was gonna pay for the wall. So far this year in 2018, Donald Trump has also reiterated that Mexico is gonna pay for the wall. Now behind closed doors, he's admitted that yeah, taxpayers are probably gonna have to pay for it, but Mexico's totally gonna pay us back, even though they tell us that they're not because they don't want it and it's gonna be on our soil, so why in the world would they even pay for it? But nonetheless, we're now risking the government shutting down again because Donald Trump continuously lies about who's gonna pay for this damn wall. That's what's really happening. And Donald Trump is more than willing to shut the whole thing down because Democrats don't wanna give him a dime to put up this useless, disgusting border wall that for some reason his alt-right base thinks is gonna stop immigration into the United States. It will do absolutely nothing nothing. It'll waste billions upon billions of dollars, destroy vital parts of the environment, all for what? Pandering to a couple racists that you have in your base? Republicans like Donald Trump seem to think that that's worth it. Luckily, the Democrats are smart enough to understand that it really, really isn't. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see here on Ring of Fire, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, You can see the little subscribe button down there, but if you're watching it on another device where you can't see it, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire, hit subscribe, be notified every time we get a new video.